Hello, welcome to Telugu Vin Academy. In today's AP Geography, uh, we are going to look into the district profile of East Godavari the district. No, East Godavari. Agriculture and added services. Paddy. How much of paddy a uh, million tons has been produced? Twenty one thousand. Twenty one lakh sixty six thousand million tons of paddy is being produced. It adds to. Three thousand two hundred fifty-six crores to the GVA. Three thousand two hundred fifty-six crores. Next, sugar cane. How much sugar cane? Twelve thousand twelve lakhs twenty-five thousand million tons of sugar cane. Next, betel leaves. Betel leaves. Are you mana? Tamil paaklo. One crore. Fifty-four lakh twenty-five thousand of million tons of betel leaves. Coconut six lakh eighty thousand million tons of coconut has been produced. They add to GV of seven hundred crores, nearly GV of seven hundred crores. Livestock milk eight lakh sixty thousand million tons, and meat one lakh sixty-four thousand million tons. How much from marine fish? Eighty-four thousand eighty million tons. Eighty-four thousand eighty million tons from marine fish. Inland fish, thirty-two thousand one seventy-five from inland fish. Now coming to the tourist attractions or tourist destinations of Rajman of uh, East Godavari. East Godavari has so many things to like visit. It it is a uh, nature. Na uh, Scenic beauty. It's a place, district of natural beauty. Like Rajamandri has the oldest uh, Gautami library, second oldest library in the state. So, River Godavari starts as a trickle at Nasik in Maharashtra. It flows through the states of Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh and, the, uh, and becomes mighty and majestic at Rajamandri. It's the largest river in South India, as we know that. Um, Godavari starts in uh, Nashik in Maharashtra. It travels to Telangana and enters Andhra Pradesh. When it reaches Rajamandri, the width of the river, the width of the river is very high, nearly two point five kilometers. Is the width near nearly two kilometers in in the city of Rajamandri? It becomes large. It becomes the largest. a uh, majestic mighty and majestic in the uh, city of rajmandri after that after uh, dhavaleshwaram barrage it again it uh, like distributes into seven major rivers like gautami vasistha and all then it merges with bay of bengal but in the city of rajmandri the width of the river is very huge so godavari with its several tributaries occupies one tenth of the country Its total length is fourteen fifty kilometers. Its total length is fourteen. In Andhra Pradesh, it flows to an extent of nine twenty seven kilometers. Okay. So, uh, tourist attractions, particularly people do visit a place called Patti Sima, Patti Sima, or Patti Sam. It's called as Patti Sima or Patti Sam. Is an ancient and holy place. It's an ancient. It's in between the uh, hillocks of East Godavari district. If we want to visit this place, only the only route is boat. Only we have to river way. Only we, there's a river way only to visit this place. The Shiva temple is famous. Mahanandeshwara Alayam uh, Ramaya Peta is at a distance of three kilometers from Patti Sima. In this locality, in the region of Patti Sima, there are other small, small uh, devotional or religious places or temples. So, Gandhi Posamma Temple, that is Matru Shri Gandhi Posamma, is the presiding goddess here. Gurijans believe that she will protect them. Like uh, tribals, mostly uh, worship this Gandhi Posamma goddess. Uma Chaudeshwaram uh, Chaude. Chaudeshwara Swami Temple that is in Devi Patnam dates back to 11th century in the Patti Sima area. So the surroundings of the temple provided an ideal setting for holding garden dinners that is Vanabhojnalu during Kartik Masam. 
so many people uh, all from all over the state of andhra pradesh and telangana uh, visit like rajamandri and through there from there they take the help of steamers through streamers steamers they travel on the river godavari and watch all these places visit all these places especially they are called vana bhojanal in the season of november that is kartika masam so perantal palli vigneshwar alayam perantal palli is also very famous you have to book a boat or launch to go to this temple which is at a distance of 50 kilometers from rajamandri so to visit this particularly perantal palli you have to book a boat or a launch next are papi kondalu papi hills Papi Hills are also very famous. The real beauty of the river Godavari is seen to be between the Papi Hills. Papi Hills are where Godavari travels in uh, meanders in these in between these hills. Papi Hills are a set of group of hills Through where Godahari rivers takes a meanders in between these hills. Meander means the turnings of the of any river. I wumpul and mata. I papi kondal maji launchi godavari in no wumpul sampul to pranistuntun. Deen launchi like tourism tourism valu launch launchi boat launchi travel chestu. I papi hills ni visit chestar and mata. So, um, as you travel towards Papi Hills, you have immediately transported into another world. So, Papi Hills are at a distance of 110 kilometers from Rajamandri. AP Tourism Department provides boat services. If you go once, so tourism, AP Tourism has provided uh, many services to reach this Papi Gondalo, Papi Hills. Next, Davaleshwaram. Dhaulaishwara Manakatta Dhaulaishwara Barrage is very famous one. So, it's a part and parcel of the nearby town Rajamandri. It has not lost its distinct identity. It retains the charm of the village. The cotton museum here is worth seeing. Dhaulaishwara uh, Barrage has been constructed by the then British General Sir Arthur Cotton. So, the people of Godavari district, if if you talk to or if you are from that uh, Godavari district particularly, they say before Dhaulaishwaram, after Dhaulaishwaram. They divide the history of Godavari district into two. Before Dhaulaishwaram and after Dhaulaishwaram. Means before Dhaulaishwaram, uh, it was district of Godavari was not that flourishing. But when after Dhaulaishwaram barrage has been constructed, the fertile land fertility irrigation facilities have been developed and next the obviously lives of the people has been changed so history of the godavari can be called as before dhavaleshwaram and after dhavaleshwaram so it has been constructed by sir arthur sir arthur cotton a british general still it has a mu cotton museum in this particular dhavaleshwaram dhavaleshwaram barrage next kadiyam this Kadiyam Lanka is very famous for, we already talked about this, is very famous for nurseries, plants. The village Kadiyam located about 10 kilometers from Rajmandri has the largest number of nurseries in the state. If you travel from, uh, travel uh, by road um, from Rajmandri to other places like through uh, between Kadiyam and Rajmandri, almost right side of the road and left both the sides of the road you get to see so many nurseries with different varieties of plants and trees almost all the varieties of plants and trees and horticultural hub so kadiyam is called as the horticultural hub of uh, east godavari next ramba chodavaram ramba chodavaram is a tribal place or an agency area where it Mostly, like Allur Sita Ram Rajru used to stay in this particular regions in Rampa Chodavaram, Devi Patnam regions. So, Vela. Here, the tribal women perform a particular dance called Vela. Vela dance means it's a tribal dance 
performed by tribal women wearing all glittering uh, dresses with dresses and in that area another particular dance is performed by tribal men tribal women perform vela dance and tribal uh, men perform kommu dance kommu dance by tribal men wearing horns horns of different animals they wear horns and they perform kommu dance kommu dance is by tribal men and vela dance by tribal women so uh, we can get a match the following from this uh, this kind of dances Try, uh, like vela is what kind of dance vela is what type of uh, cultural uh, this thing kommu is what so match the following or dance next annavaram annavaram is a very famous abode of sri satyanarayan swami temple almost every uh, every hindu we can say every hindu in uh, andhra pradesh mostly visits annavaram at least once in their lifetime so annavaram satyanarayan swami temple that is 32 kilometers from pitapuram and it's even near to kakinada also next this temple has been built on a hill called ratnagiri annavaram temple was built on a it's an ancient temple on a uh, hill called ratnagiri on the banks of river pampa on the banks of river pampa the river which flows through the city of the town of annavaram is pampa on which hill annavaram uh, satyanarayan swami temple is located means ratnagiri next is draksharamam or daksharamam so draksharamam is 25 kilometers from kakinada so also called dakshina kasi south kasi or dakshina kasi as we know that ganga godavari is also called as dakshina ganga means south ganga So here, Bhimeshwara Swami Temple. Uh, here is one of the three lingas in AP. Bhimeshwara uh, Bhimeshwara Swami Temple is located in uh, Daksharama. Next is Talupulamma Lova. Talupulamma Lova is a uh, place near to uh, Tuni in between Kakinada. It's on a in between forest. It's on a hillock, small hillock in between forest region uh, agency areas of forest cover. So Talpulamma Temple is on a hill. Here the goddess name is Talpulamma. All the people surroundings, uh, nearby areas, do visit this temple. Uh, apart from this, there is even Koringa Wildlife Sanctuary. Koringa Wildlife Sanctuary is very famous. Next one is uh, hmm, Dindi Resort. This is Daksha Ramam Temple. This is a view of the. Draksha Ramam Temple. Next is Annavara Satyanarayan Swami Temple. These are the Papi Hills. Means through steamer or boat you have to. This is the way you have. To, if you want to visit Papi Kondlo Patte Sima, this is the way you have to travel from Rajamandri. Next Koringa Ecosystem. Koringa Ecosystem. It has mangrove ecosystem also. so many uh, siberian uh, birds do visit this koringa ecosystem rajmandri bridge barrage rajmandri barrage the city of the rajmandri next is this is dindi resort dindi resorts are very famous nowadays many people uh, love to visit this particular resorts so these are the tourist destinations of East Godavari. Next, important who uh, who are the other important personalities who are from the East Godavari district? Freedom fighters or important uh, literary persons. They are first one is Kandukuri Virya Slingam Pantulu. Kandukuri Virya Slingam Pantulu is from Rajamandri. Is from East Godavari district only. The uh, socialist reformer. Uh, like he is the one who uh, brought revolution, revolution in the thoughts of, from the thoughts of the people. Uh, he is a social reformer, social revolutionary. So he occupied a place, prominent place in the 
glory of rajamandri he comes from he hails from rajamandri he was a great social reformer he conducted first widow remarriage first re widow remarriage in ap was conducted by kandukuri veeraslingam pantulu garu in the year 1981 sorry 1881 in his own house in his own house he conducted first widow remarriage in the state of andhra pradesh and he even started a press called uh, viveka vardhini viveka vardhini in 1875 and published so many magazines and books through this press he even established hitakarani sabha that is a hitakarani society for the development of women he strived for the development of women in the year 1907 hitakarani sabha in 1907 and viveka vardhini in the year 1880 sorry Uh, in the year 1875 he conducted first widow remarriage in the year 1881 next nyapati subbarao nyapati subbarao he started an english magazine called the hindu the hindu only uh, to criticize the evil deeds or atrocities by british government the hindu magazine started by nyapati subbarao is to criticize the atrocities by of british government in 1903 he established even a society called hindu society in 1903 he is called he established a society called hindu and he was titled or called as andhra bhishma ఆంధ్ర భీష్మ అని ఎవరు పిలుస్తారంటే న్యాపతి సుబ్బారావు గారిని ఆంధ్ర భీష్మ ఆంధ్ర భీష్ముడు అని పిలుస్తారనమాట సో దట్ ఈస్ న్యాపతి సుబ్బారావు గారు అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ బోయ్ భీమన్న సో బోయ్ భీమాన్న ఈజ్ ఆల్సో ఫ్రమ్ రాజమండ్రి సో హీ హెల్స్ ఫ్రమ్ మామిడివరం ఆఫ్ రాజోల్ డిస్టిక్ అండ్ హీ పెండ్ ఎ ఫేమస్ ఆటోగ్రఫీ హీ రోట్ ఎ ఫేమస్ ఆటోగ్రఫీ కాల్ పాలేరు నుంచి పద్మశ్రీ పాలేరు నుంచి పద్మశ్రీ నెక్స్ట్ ఈజ్ బుల్సు సాంబమూర్తి గారు బుల్సు సాంబమూర్తి గారు హీ వాజ్ అ వెరీ ఫేమస్ అడ్వకేట్ అండ్ అ వెరీ వెల్ నోటెడ్ అడ్వకేట్ బట్ విత్ ద కాల్ ఆఫ్ బట్ విత్ ద కాల్ ఆఫ్ బట్ విత్ ద కాల్ ఆఫ్ దేశభక్త కొండ వెంకటప్పయ్య హీ లెఫ్ట్ ఈస్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఎన్ జాయిన్ ఇన్ ఫ్రీడమ్ స్ట్రగల్ so not only joined in freedom struggle he donated hundreds of acres of his property for the cause of freedom struggle and he struggled for the sep- cause of the separate andhra state he uh, he struggled for the sep- cause of the separate andhra andhra state and he was even titled as maharishi by mahatma gandhi so bulsu subbarao is called as maharishi bulsu subbarao and he donated crores of property to the cause of freedom and he st- he used to live like a maharishi with a very minimal uh, needs so he was titled as maharishi by mahatma gandhi so this is the map of east godavari district so gokavaram tuni eleshwaram kakinada ramachandrapuram amlapuram rajol rawalpalam rajmandri thank you